Hey guys, Atticus James here with GearsOfGuns.com and today we are back at it with some more KSG nonsense. Like I said, today we're back at it with more KSG nonsense and, and honestly, I think this shotgun could have just a little bit more flair. Yeah, that should do it. Let's go and jump into a first look, shall we? Now we're going to be working on this first look on the KSG-25. Now, you probably figured out, if you didn't already know, that the 25 on this stands for 25 shotgun shells. Basically, you take the standard size KSG and we just extend it. Now, if you look at this gun up closely without being able to look down the barrel, you may go, hmm, it looks like they just threaded on another barrel and then put on some extension tubes. The reality is, is that this is a fully built gun. There's no way to take all of this part off and have yourself a smaller KSG. The only way to have a short one and a long one is to have both of them. So I was wondering what the price was on the KSG-25 in my area. Figure out what maybe it would be purchased for in Texas. So the first shop that I called was a shop that I am not familiar with. I just wanted a base price to see what they offered. And they said 1200 So I decided to call about 100 miles away another shop and they quite quoted me at 900 So I quoted, so I called a company that I used to work with quite a bit and they quoted me 800 and then I started filling in all of the areas in my area, all the gun shops in my area, to find out that the 1200 price is just a gun shop that should not be dealt with. They overcharge, not someone I, I want to work with. You can find it for about 850 to 900 in my particular area, but if you do your research, you could probably find it for about 815 if you're lucky. Now that doesn't include transfer and taxes and everything else, that is before taxes and all of that. So you may have a little bit higher price tag, but you're going to be able to find this for a relatively cheap price. So don't go onto Gun Broker and assume, oh man, $1,200 is going to be a great price for me, when you can probably find it at a cheaper place a lot easier than that. If you're willing to drive a little bit, or you're willing to have a gun shipped to you, you can find these guns cheaper. They can purchase them for you and then you have them shipped into your shop. You go through your background check and that way that you can get this. So be aware that you really need to search for the price that this gun really is and not just go with, oh, well, you know, this is the gun shop I've used in the past. I don't think they ripped me off. Call the gun shops around you. See if they're actually charging you the right price. Now, <clears throat> This is the fun part. So, we have two shotgun tubes. Like I said, it's KSG-25, which means that we need to just keep loading for the entire length of this. Now, it's a full box of shotgun shells. Does that kill your shoulder if you sit there and shoot all 25 shells at one time? Oh yeah, it feels great on the shoulder and there's no extra buffer on here. Well, you just gotta man up and deal with it. Personally, I like this shotgun because I can keep it loaded with my two different shells. I can keep whatever I want in here. So, if I want to be able to come out here and go hog hunting and deer hunting, I can run buckshot and I can run slugs. Maybe I don't want to run slugs on my deer, maybe I only want them for hogs. Maybe I want buckshot because I feel that I have more targets that I'm trying to hit, more hogs that are out there, and that gives me a better opportunity to hit more targets than just trying to aim with slugs. I can come in here, choose which round I want, and I can go there. I don't have to go, okay, what maggot or what, what round do I want to shoot today? I want to shoot something that is going to work. Oh, let me change magazines real quick. Let me go and, and change something. That, that's not for me. So, 25. It's an odd number, which means that you have 24 plus one in the chamber. So, 
you're going to have to pull one out of the mag tube to load into the chamber to have your full 25. Now if you're running mini shot or you're having anything that's a little bit smaller or a little bit longer, your numbers are going to vary. Be aware of that. So don't expect to have the same number every time with different shells. It's not designed for that. It's not saying, oh, okay, well, any size shell will guarantee you 25, or in the case of mini shot, more. Um, typically, people who are running the 3 inch 12 gauge KSG with the mini shot, they're getting about 11 mini shot shells into the seven round mag tubes. So be aware of that. You get more shells, a lot more fun. Now, as you've seen, I keep loading and loading. I have last one that goes into the mag before we go and load the chamber. Now, we're just going to pull up on this little lever right here. One in there, and I can do this without getting my thumb bitten. A full box of 12 gauge shotgun shells. Now you're going, Atticus, I don't want to watch you shoot 25 shotgun shells from a thrower. And I get that because I don't want to show that to you. So we're going to shoot a few of them. You're going to come in for that. Watch us throwing. Obviously, I don't have a ton of clays in the thrower right now. So we're going to go and shoot all of those. And then as soon as that's over, we'll call the review. So let's get set up for that, shall we? So you're looking at this going, you know, why would you have that full length? Why do you want this extra length when you could go and have a much smaller package with still a lot of shells in it? And the story that I heard at SHOT Show, and whether this is the guaranteed story or not, this is just what they told us out at SHOT Show when they released the gun. They wanted to bring this to the European market. And the European market could not have the bullpup design with that length, overall length of gun. So, they wanted to have a gun that's the same length as your uh, 870 or your 500, and give it just something a little extra. I mean, let's face it, do you really want to get rid of these mag tubes and have it kind of look funky? I mean, there's a whole bunch of changes that they could have made by just adding a little bit extra metal to it, but they actually wanted to go and make this thing what seems like crazy. 25 shotgun shells without a magazine? It seems pretty crazy to me, but reality is it's not. It's just a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to shoot. We're going to throw it on safe. Now that we don't have to go and deal with that. There's no cameraman today, so I'm not worried about where the guns are pointed, as it's not in that direction. Why would you want this gun? Aside from the obvious fact of, well, you know, it's a bit crazy. Why not? There are a lot of reasons. I mean, hunting. Uh, maybe you guys go out and uh, shoot clays with friends out on a property. For me, I like to invite the guys out. We do a, a shoot. We'll do a video for you guys. And then afterwards, we'll come back. Sun will be setting right before dinner. We'll get out the thrower. We'll come out. We'll do some clay pigeons. And then we always have one rule. The number of shotgun shells in the shotgun is what your turn is. So I had to get one because, let's face it, if I get this shotgun and everybody else gets five rounds, I can just sit here all day and just pop them out. That's not true. I'm nice. I just don't like to reload. Reload once for the entire day and you're good. You know, you get the full box, everybody else shoots five and they're sitting there <sighs> reloading. You're just sitting there going, is it my turn yet? Let's do this. I'm ready to go. I like it. Now, 
you do have one rail up here and then you've got your full length rail like you do on all the other KSGs. Uh, most of the area around the muzzle, around the barrel itself is all metal. And we're going to be talking about, in a future episode, about changing over so that way that you can have your uh, muzzle devices on here, you can have chokes, because as it stands, these shotguns cannot have a choke on them without this adapter. So we're going to talk about how much of a pain this was in a future episode, how I got it on, and kind of my recommendations for that. Also, I have something that you may already have figured out what we're going to be doing with it, but I need something a little bit more with this package. It's just not enough. But you can run this in a lot of different ways with a lot of different options and shells and just have a great time. Guys, I'm Atticus James with GunsOfGuns.com. Thank you so much for watching. I really enjoy playing with these shotguns for you guys. So go check out our social media. Go give us some thumbs up, some likes over there. Also, check out our Patreon page. All of the links in the description. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.